all the planning board members on right now. I think all of them should be on. Okay. Well, as we can talk about the makeup of the committee, I do want to say, I mean, best practices, can you have a conversation? The public is here. They're going to give input into what they would like to see, you know, directly to, to you all as elected and appointed officials as well. Council. Um, not, not a big point. I'm just pointing out that the um, best practices committee does have the means to establish subcommittees too. Maybe it could be a, a working group that could just look at this particular thing. Maybe another, another starting point is to determine what the maximum size of a functional committee potentially is. Is it 7, is it 9, is it 15? And then work, work from that idea, you know, that there's some flexibility in it, and then trying to develop a membership based on what we feel is a, a maximum number to make it a productive committee. I think you may be able to sense that the planning board, I think, in general, is against the very large committee. I'm um, sorry, I, I couldn't hear your friend. Against what? Are he's he's against? We're against a large, okay. unwieldy committee. Yeah. Let's, let's check it. We've been doing this to figure out where we are. So there's been a consensus that this recommendation with a little amendment at the bold on page one complies with officials and community representatives as selected by the Mayor, Council, and Planning Board task the committee with recommended a recommended rezoning of the committee, not an actual rezoning, because that's done by the election. Um, <coughs> I think the question of well, who's comprised and it is what the, that who comprises it is still up in the air. You know, there's a couple different ideas of how to do it. Is there a consensus that the committee shouldn't be huge or too large? Yes. Single digits. What's that? Single digits. Single digits. Single digits. That could be harder. But, um, nine counselors to have some appointments under the one scenario that could be hard. But uh, and because you need to have planning you need the planning board folks to have some input too. Okay, so that's one so but there is some consensus that it shouldn't be huge. Yeah. Right? Um, and, and I guess what I'm gonna ask is are there people and you don't have to say who you are now who are willing to go away and talk to each other about how to put this together. <coughs> you know you can ask the best practices committee for input on the whole thing as well but Ultimately, somebody has to come back here and recommend something yeah. to two groups. So, what kind of time work? Well, I mean, I think we have some time to do this, you know. But I would, I would say you want to get moving on it. Yeah. You know, within the month, or the month and a half, don't you think? I mean, before the recession. Right? Before the recession's over, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And according to Ben, whoever, oh, the Boston Fed guy says we'll be okay by the fall. So, um, so you want to, if you want to, don't want to leave it hanging. But ultimately, whatever subcommittee looks at anything, somebody has to come back with a recommendation, somebody has to take responsibility to do that. So there need to be a couple people, I think, from both the planning board and the council who are willing to say, I'll help work on what the composition of the group is. Could, could you send me a, the charge to the committee and also the member the committee? For the committee that Michael was talking about? Yeah, I think you can send it. The best practices. No, on the website. On the website. It's on the website. It's on the website. Oh, okay. Are you talking about the, the citizen advisory? No, he was talking about the best. I mean, there have been two <coughs> models proposed. The one, uh, there's the one in the handout that you got, which is a poor <coughs> group of elected and appointed officials with another group of community-based people included in the committee in some way, shape, or form. And then the next model is pretty much no elected appointed officials with using the Citizen Advisory Committee as a model, right? Those are the two that have come to the surface today. There might be some hybrid or another one entirely. Right? So I think some folks need to go away and start thinking about what different models could work. And there's a lot of people here and who have been listening who are going to have input on that, thing, representing different neighborhood groups and so on. And they're going to also have thoughts about that. I mean, it might be useful to think about having non-voting members on the committee that could take place to take part in the discussion, even though it wasn't a public hearing, and it wouldn't have a voting on That's one of your recommendations, yeah. right? So that's another piece of, that's another potential way to approach it. Right. I mean, I think everybody agrees that there needs to be broader than just elected officials, the mm -hmm. questions, or, and a, a thought that maybe there aren't elected appointed officials. How do you, how do you pull those folks in? How do you structure that? So I'm not saying raise your hand if you're willing to do it, but it is a question to all of you. Somebody, some, a couple
couple of people need to take that on to have those discussions to bring something back here to move the conversation to the next step. Well, I'll just as one volunteer to uh, participate in the next meeting that you have it when this is like an agenda item <coughs> on the best practices if that's one way to get input from the planning board um, I don't know whether I'm we want to get another committee are you referring it to the best practices committee or are you asking them for input I'm asking where I believe we're asking for their advice okay. <coughs> you still need people who are going to yep. put something right. together so perhaps what we're looking for is an ad hoc committee out of here of a couple of councils and a couple of planning board members to get together and to kind of kick around the ideas that we've had yes. here. So. That's what I'm, that's what I'm okay. trying to say. We need to have a couple of people willing to do that. Well, I will well, 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 only two new members tonight, right? <laughs> I was just looking at Ray Dolce. So, so David Murphy and the new members on the planning board? They, they, they're on the ad hoc. <laughs> <laughs> no, David Murphy's not here either, so that's Before we break up, I just wanted to clarify, um, we'll maybe. <laughs> well, pretty soon. Sure. It takes us a long time. I thought we had an engagement. There's a number of zoning revisions in the hopper currently, right. and those will continue to go through the process. We're not putting things in abeyance until all this right. is sorted out. Right. It might be a while. People agreed that Wayne brought that up at the beginning, and I didn't hear any counselors to put a stop on it. Yeah. So, okay. And they'll go through the regular public open process hearings, etc. Okay. Okay. All right, so a motion to adjourn this special meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.